Put that thing Here on. we are, man. Day one. <laughs> Day one of our trip. You guys are going to be on YouTube. You're going to be YouTube stars. Oh, boy. <laughs> That'll be scary. There they are. The dynamic duo. Yep. <laughs> the dynamic that's, duo of women. That's a, there you go. That's right. <laughs> Thelma and Louise. Thelma that's and right. Louise. No, no, no. Let's not go there. No, that's not good. <laughs> We're trying to stay out of the wind. We've got a little bit of a sheltered area down here in the wash Definitely. so we're gonna see how it goes tonight it should next couple of days supposed to die down so hopefully today will be windy but tomorrow we've got a camp spot in the trees so hopefully we'll have some shelter from the wind if there's any wind brad's down in here doing something i don't know what he's doing <laughs> <laughs> zipping sleeping bags together he's zipping things together okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a pretty nice little unit you got there, man. Yeah, it's a daddy tent. Yeah. It's already warmer in here than I want. Well, you know, when I got in ours and once you got out of the wind, I mean, it's pretty nice, actually. It's not cold at all. Yeah, so. Well, good morning. Anyway, second day of the Mojave Road, and uh, wind was howling last night, so it still pretty much is kind of trying to stay out of the wind here as much as I can anyway it's um, supposed to be windy again today we're gonna we have a spot I have a spot picked out tonight it's got some trees so hopefully we get some shelter from the wind this was a uh, pretty open down here <laughs> we found a spot in the wash and it was probably as shelter as we could get but uh, camping in the winds no fun nobody likes doing that pretty much so just the way it goes you got to deal with it you know you get the wind in the desert that's the way it goes we're heading up that way to the um, Calvary for the old Calvary Fort uh, can't remember the name of it right now so the stingers are moving around Off we go. It's uh, 10 minutes to 10. All kinds of people have been by here already today. A bunch of UTVs went by, a whole string of them. They'll probably be up here at the at the Indian Fort yeah. ruins, and then we'll probably run into them again. I don't know if they're allowed in the preserve. Well, you said they weren't. Well, oh, then, then they aren't. I don't know. I can't remember if they, in uh, they're not allowed at Kofa, but I, whether they're allowed here or not, I don't remember. Maybe you can't see it, but that Mojave that says Mojave Road on the bottom, so that's the first sign we've seen says Mojave Road on this. Well, this is what we wanted to do, right, babe? Yep, sure is. Mojave Road. It's like, um, so far there's nothing, of course this is just the beginning. We're not to the, we're not even to the ruins yet, but we'll be getting up there. It's up there by the mountains there, but um, Karen's. there's a lot of Karens along this road. People have put, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I don't know why they put Karens along here, except maybe they think they're marking the road. I don't know. You know, the road's gotten a little rougher, but I still haven't used four-wheel drive, so it's just rocky and high clearance type of thing. And yeah. this is probably the easiest part of it right here. There were some rockier spots back behind us, and there might be some more up ahead, but we're just around the bend up here is where that old Calvary Fort is that we're going to go visit and then we got to turn around and come back down this road and go back along the power line back to the main road which is the Mojave Road. It's all good. A little bit rocky up in here. Some not real smooth but definitely not anything real serious still don't have four-wheel drive going so this is uh, 
a side trip anyway. We're still going up the road, but this is uh this might be part of the fort. I'll have to look into that. I'm not really sure. It looks old enough, although the posts don't look like they're that old. The road continues going. It dead ends at the uh, parking area. I remember seeing videos on that. So we haven't got to that yet, but this is just the first part of it. Yeah, lots of barrel cactus up here. Well, here's the interpretive sign. I keep forgetting Fort Paiute. I keep forgetting the name of this place. So this is Fort Pipe. Take some still pictures of this thing so we can remember what it says. these years, part of it anyway. There were never more than 18 soldiers stationed here, so the fort was quite small. I love the way they did the rock work. This is, looks like a fireplace here. That's probably what it was. See the cottonwood trees down there? That's where all the water is. There goes the neighborhood. Bunch of couple of UTVs. A little plaque. Kind of shows the outline. Let's get a picture of that. Here's a nice little thing. Got some flowers blooming down here. That's pretty nice. This was a corral according to the map, I think. Makes sense, I guess. Not a very big one. Go see what these signs over here say. Thanks. Yeah. Guess you could spend some time hiking around here. Probably have to camp up in here if you did.
So after our little detour to Fort Mojave or to, to the Paiute, whatever it was, <laughs> Fort Paiute, um, we came down the power line road until we hit the Mojave Road again, and it goes up over the mountains here. So that's what we're doing. Kind of a rough road, but a rougher road than the power line road, but that's to be expected. It's supposed to be four wheel drive road. I haven't really used four wheel drive much on this road. Going up to the Fort Paiute, we did a little bit, but it wasn't much. Uh, wasn't really needed much on any other parts of the road, just one little spot, one little area. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Yeah, the road's getting a little rougher on this uh, stretch here, going over the hill. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a little climb going up this little rocky spot. Nothing, to, nothing serious, but something we'll have to pick the right line going up this thing. I think you should get out and help. Yeah. If he just follows us up, that'll be what he needs to do. Somebody's tarp. <laughs> this is the spot where he, he didn't want to go. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> How bad is it over there? Nah, it's not so bad. Somebody's I'm filled it in. It. Somebody's filled it in with rocks. The line here though is the tricky part. Let's see here. Let's try going straight up the middle here. technical that little spot right back there didn't have to use the lockers though we just spun any tires I had to use the lockers oh, wow. yeah. so the other side of that steep climb that we came up out of there it opens up into a big flat area that's really interesting you go up this really steep spot and then this big flat out here is just uh, pretty flat and not steep at all on this side or rocky or anything so we just saw a lot of dust from some bunch of vehicles that are up ahead here, and I don't know if they're coming this way or or what, but we'll probably run into them. If they're coming this way, we'll run into them somewhere. So, we shall see. So, their signage isn't all that good out here. We're on the old government road, as evidenced by my, my map which is supposed to be the one that's the Mojave Road. There's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of uh, things on here. There's a school bus and, uh, and there's also a place where people leave money. Uh, 
there's a couple of things to see out here so they're uh, not necessarily to see but they're just places that are like waypoints we haven't seen any of them yet but I think we're on the right road but even if we aren't we're going in the right direction so we'll eventually come out somewhere <laughs> so hopefully this is it though well, we just stopped here at the junction of the of the Ivanpah Road and the Mojave Road. Pretty sure that we're on the Mojave Road. And we're going to drive down this. This is a junction right here. That's the Ivanpah Road over here. It's back that way. <laughs> yeah, then there's Karen. Anyway, so we're going to drive down this road till we see the Carruthers Canyon Road and then take that up into Carruthers Canyon. That's the plan. We'll see how late it is by the time we get there. There's a map over there on that Mojave Desert Outpost. It kind of shows where we're at. So, I think we're good. I have a job to do. Yep. Those are puppies. So here we sit in the sun. <laughs> we actually have sun to sit in this morning. Well, we had sun to sit in yesterday, but it was blowing so hard you couldn't do anything. So, so this is the area we... Uh, Carruthers Canyon's up that way. We were going to go to Carruthers Canyon. We're going to go up there today to check it out, but we were heading up there to camp last night, and the higher we got, the colder it is, and so and there was just snow on the ground here, so we thought, and we found this uh, little shelter spot in the junipers. Uh, for, so the, see there's some snow right there. Anyway, uh, found this little sheltered spot in the junipers, sheltered from the wind. Wind's pretty much died down right now, but it might pick up again before the day's over. Well, we don't know. Uh, even junipers, we still have cactus and Joshua trees all over the place. Kind of pretty. And we're, we didn't get far off the road. Nobody's come by yet. We don't, we don't probably, probably won't see anybody either. But right now we're sitting out here having coffee in the sun, which we couldn't do yesterday. We had to sit in the Jeep, it was too cold. I don't think you could get it when you were older. I mean, I didn't, I thought it was his first thing. So there's the line up there. The lizards. <laughs> the lizard line. <laughs> Do we need numbers in our lineup? Yeah, one, two, three. That makes me four. <laughs> All right, anyway, this I'm going to go get me another cup of coffee. Up in Carruthers Canyon. Can up in, in Carruthers Canyon. We're going to continue up the road a little ways and see where it, until the road starts getting bad. Somebody came up here and broke down right here on the middle of the road. And so we couldn't figure out exactly what their problem was, but whatever it is, hopefully they're getting some help. This is a pretty place though, it's a real pretty canyon. So, it's got some nice um, rocks. There's also a structure, somebody living down here. There's also some no trespassing signs, so we're not going down that road. But we'll see what's up in Carruthers Canyon. Well, we decided, uh, we drove up Carruthers Canyon a little ways, then we decided to go ahead and go to uh, Fourth of July Canyon, which is the next canyon over. So we're gonna go and check that out. There were some people camping back up in here and with that broke down vehicle there, we just decided that, you know, the road was pretty rough, even though we could have easily done it, but we're gonna, Go check out the other canyon, see what that looks like. That's the sky and everything, you know. There's a an old tank there, and a, looks like there was a yeah. Looks like there was a um, windmill on it at one time. So there's picture opportunities for Karen.
heading over to Fourth of July Canyon. This is down this here road. Here's the road going into Christmas or Fourth of July Canyon. Looks like no trespassing, permit road, no outlet, private property, monitor by. Okay, well, that says that. Guess we're done with this road. That kind of says it right Come there. Road here. <laughs> this is a uh, part of the Mojave Road, but it's uh, it's also called Cedar Canyon, Cedar Canyon Road, I think. But it's like a regular highway out here compared to what we've been on so far. Oh, there's quail. So after the Carruthers Canyon, we uh, we ended up uh, driving down the Mojave Road and came out uh, on the road to Sema we stopped a little short and decided to there's a little dirt road that goes into the desert we decided to drive down that look for a place to camp for the night so this is what we ended up with and there's a big wash here and uh, this is uh, this is our camp in the wash which is really cool because we it's still a little windy and we ended up uh, using this bluff behind us to block the wind. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just getting ready to get some chow and the dogs are getting fed. So, well, um, Karen's working on feeding the dogs. And the other dogs want food too but they they're not getting any of this okay the stangers are over there sitting in the sun <laughs> anyway so here we go we're just uh feeding time there's your dinner get your dinner here's mac here's mac Dinner, right there. Uh, I love camping in washes anyway, so this is good. So, hopefully, it'll be warmer here tonight than it was last night. Last night it was uh, 27, this morning it was very cold. Good morning. Here we are uh, in the Cedar Wash, I think it is. Cedar Wash. And uh, still windy this is like third day of wind so we'll see if it keeps up today anyway we're over here in the sheltered area that we can find and having some breakfast and some coffee so ready, so ready. there's the, so so there. the there's the crew lizards on the rock yeah I hope you know this is all going to be on YouTube. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you look marvelous. Uh, well, at least it's not cold this morning. 45 degrees this morning when I got up and before the sun hit. So 45, that's pretty good compared to 27 we had yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. So I can't complain about that. All we can complain about is the wind, if we want to complain. <laughs> right? <laughs> If you have the need. If you have the need to complain. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what today brings. <laughs> Here we are leaving the Windy City. Huh? It's, oh. uh, We're going to leave the... It's the... I just measured 21 mile an hour gusts. Uh, it's gotten stronger today than it was yesterday. So we're well, heading... Well, you had another We're heading to too. SEMA. 12... 
uh, that uh, to see what's down there and then we're gonna go explore some cabins that are up in the mountains there so we'll see if we can find one that's not being occupied maybe we'll spend the night in tonight just to get out of the wind or have a place to get out of the wind so we'll see how it goes and then tomorrow we'll continue on the Mojave Trail well we're on our way out of here and last night we saw some weird lights we uh, there was like two there was one light it was really weird a weird color it was like a amber almost almost a fire light color and then we uh, saw another one appear above it and then so there's two lights and then one of them would go out and then the bottom one would go out and then another one would appear above the first the one that stayed on and it was pretty weird we got binoculars out and looked at them but couldn't really tell anything about them and uh, there was no roads over there that we could see today we looked over there and the, where they were and the, no roads there got had to have been some sort of aircraft or something that was really strange and uh, probably one of the strangest things I've ever seen uh, out in anywhere and so it was uh, just noteworthy what they were big yeah and they were pretty good size they were um, they were really bright lights but they weren't white lights at all and they were like I say they almost looked the color of fire but they were moving and so they obviously and then they would go down the lower one would go down below uh, the horizon you could see them drop below the horizon you could see the glow and then another one would pop up above the, the upper one so anyway it was really weird strange things in the Mojave <laughs> Driving through a forest fire in the uh, looks like Joshua Tree Forest. Looks like this is all burned off. And it wasn't too long ago, maybe last year. It could have been last year. Maybe the year before. But it wasn't. It hasn't been very long. Kind of interesting. It's hard to believe that there'd be enough uh, to carry fire through that. But there is. Well, we're at the Shell station on I-15, and this is the highest price I've ever paid for gas, $5.59. So we just filled up our tanks just uh, just because we probably did have enough. To, of course, we're doing a lot of side trips, and you just don't know. It's hard to just. It's hard to figure it out whether you're going to have enough. So, at any rate, just had to get a picture of the prices here, $5.59 for gas. That's just outrageous oh well it is what it is <laughs> 